Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me on another video. Today is going to be a huge Sephora haul, okay? They recently had their spring savings event, discount event, whatever you want to call it. And um, I picked up a few things. I definitely went a little in on that sale so i'm going to show you guys what i picked up i'm also doing a giveaway in this video just as a huge thank you to all of your amazing love and support i recently did a giveaway on my instagram with hudson's bay and unfortunately that was not international it was just for my canadian audience so i thought i would do an international one here on youtube so that everyone can get a chance at winning this giveaway so yeah i hope you guys enjoy this video and if you're new please go ahead and subscribe my name is karina and we do fragrance beauty and lifestyle content on this channel so if you're loving the vibe the energy then subscribe leave a comment down below and don't forget to turn your post notifications on the giveaway is very very simple i am going to be giving away three incredible fragrances that i gave away on my instagram um this time it's going to be open internationally so everyone can go ahead and leave a comment down below obviously just leave a comment about the video what you want to talk about and um i will select randomly so for this giveaway we have Dolce & Gabbana Dolce Rose or Rose I think it's called this is the newest one I already have this one in my collection uh this one I've been talking about it a lot this is from Narciso Rodriguez and this is Rodriguez <laughs> and this is Musk Noir I absolutely love this scent I've been wearing it often like so so much love this one so that's part of the giveaway and last but not least i'm going to be giving away versace's uh dylan turquoise which i also have in my collection so that is the giveaway i will leave in the description box the rules it's going to be pretty simple you just have to be subscribed to my channel leave a comment follow me on instagram and that is pretty much it i will contact you through the comment section here on this video now that the postal office here in canada is getting its ish together and um <laughs> organizing things back i'm getting comfortable with um doing another giveaway so yeah anyways i'm going to talk about all of the things that i picked up from sephora you guys definitely let me know did you get anything from sephora i got some makeup products that i've already been using and then i got some skincare and all that good stuff so let's start with a few skincare items so i picked up the summer friday um summer skin nourishing body lotion i absolutely love the packaging of summer friday they always get me with this like very instagrammable packaging it just looks gorgeous i've been hearing a lot of things about this moisturizer haven't tried it yet but oh, i love the feel it has this like very matte silky feel love it i have pretty dry skin especially my legs so excited to try this out and if you guys have anything that i'm mentioning and you've already tried it please let me know in the comment section and a few things that I'm talking about here, I actually purchased just before the sale. So, um, yeah, sorry to me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, this is the fragrance that I picked up just before the sale. This is from Sol de Janeiro. I think that's what the brand is called. So, with this fragrance, I've only used it, I want to say, twice twice and then i put it back in the box so that i can show you guys in in the giveaway and i haven't tried it again so i definitely have to play around with it some more here is that bottle right there it's very cute it's quite quite small like what is this a 50 mil yeah this is a 50 mil so this one when i played with it it's a very very warm nutty fragrance it does have a little bit of a sunscreen vibe a little bit of this honey-esque vibe it's quite sweet very warm it's beachy vibes but very very sweet so i'm actually surprised this is not more marketed for like winter time because it does have quite a bit of warmth to it it almost reminds me of elisab girl of now but i think this is more nutty and warmer than that one and it does smell very nice but the only issue that i have with it from what i remember it really didn't last that much on me mind you i have a hard time 
um, making fragrances last on my skin so I have to spray it on my clothes and then see how it works out but oh yeah it's very very nutty it's actually really gourmandish so you have to like your kind of gourmand fragrances because to me this smells gourmand very nutty very warm like not like it smells like pistachio almost like a pistachio almondy vibe that's what I'm getting from here but I feel like this would work out better in the winter time, to be honest. Um, for skincare, I picked up The Ordinary. This is their Hyaluronic Acid. I live by Hyaluronic Acid. Like, if you have dry skin, honey, get you Hyaluronic Acid. This is super, super affordable. It's under $8. And it's everything that you need. Clean ingredients minimal packaging super affordable you can't go wrong with the ordinary they have some spectacular skincare products for so affordable and now they're available at Sephora so you can order them anytime and I always get a bottle of hyaluronic acid I love it my skin just flourishes when I use this product so that is my new hyaluronic acid I actually just finished the other bottle in my bathroom so I'm going to be opening this one up and popping it in there, okay? The other skincare product that I got, two from Biosins. Again, these are just to stock up, to be quite honest. This is their Squalene and Probiotics Gel Moisturizer. I definitely like the heavier one, but I still have quite a large um tub of that one and my husband likes to gel a little bit more so I picked this up mainly for him I have used it before and I can get away with it during the day but nighttime I like the thicker um cream version of this moisturizer so this was mainly for him but honestly you guys know how I feel about Biosense I think they are the most ugh, amazing skincare brand everything I've touched from that brand has been magical I've seen results they feel incredible it's an experience I love that they're all about very clean ingredients and really making products that give you results so really love biotins and I definitely recommended anything the other thing that I got was the squalene and vitamin c dark spot serum I had a bottle of this, but my husband started using it, so I got this one for myself. Sometimes I get discoloration around my mouth area and just little um, spots from like picking at a pimple, and I find that this works really, really well. So I enjoyed it when I started uh, using it and even when my husband started using it, so I thought I would get another one because... I know we're gonna run out of it quite fast if we're both using just one. The next skincare product that I have here, this one, again, I got it before the sale. I'm so silly. I don't know why I, I went to Sephora before a damn sale. But this is from Summer Friday again, and this is Cloud Dew Oil-Free Gel Cream. Haven't even tried it yet. <laughs> I've had this for quite a bit. I haven't even tried it yet, so I definitely will be opening it up, putting it in my bathroom, and really get a feel for how it wears on the skin. Um, I actually got this recommended through a subscriber who works at Sephora. Thank you so much, girl. Um, she says that even though it is a gel cream, it's actually quite white hydrating and feels amazing because I don't like that like gel formula where it's almost like a little sticky and she says that it's not that so I'm excited to play around with this and okay I think it's fragrance free it kind of is reminding me of the Clinique moisture surge I don't know if you guys are familiar with that one even the packaging kind of reminds me of that cream and the texture of this Ooh, yeah, it kind of reminds me of the Clinique Moisture Surge, but this, oh, this is nice. It's very light and airy. It doesn't feel sticky at all. It does feel quite hydrating, almost like a cream and a water in one. Oh, that feels nice. This is something that I would probably wear during the day that won't like disrupt my makeup. It's a little bit lighter. And then I can go with something heavier for nighttime. And I like that it got absorbed onto the skin really fast. I ended up getting the Anastasia Beverly Hill Brow Freeze. This is a newer product to ABH. I honestly haven't tried a new product from ABH in so long like so so long I don't know I feel like that brand is almost 
phasing out. I don't hear a ton of people talking about it as much as I used to. I mean, when I started social media, ABH was like the brand. They were the brand. And I've actually heard really good things about this one. So that is the packaging. Very, very cute. And it looks like almost like a gel. Yeah, like a like a sticky gel for your brows. So it's a very clear, clear gel. And I believe you're supposed to put this and then go in with your brow pencil or brow powder. So I will test this out and let you guys know. Maybe I'll do a video, uh, include it into a get ready with me or something like that. So the next product that I got is from Fenty Beauty. It's actually their uh, gloss balm cream in the shade Fenty Glow. Now I already own the glosses, the original glosses, and I love them. I think the formula is absolutely beautiful, but now they have the cream version, which is more of a creamy, almost like lipstick gloss in one. And it's this shade over here. I've already um, used it. I'll give you guys a little bit of a close up. I've already used this one and I think it's so pretty. Like it just, it's just so nice. You really don't need anything underneath it. You don't need a lip liner if you don't want to put a lip liner and it just looks gorgeous. So I'll show you guys a little bit of a close up. It's this nudie kind of pink tone right there. I hope you guys can can get that and my camera is focusing. I ended up picking up two foundations that I am just obsessed with. So I wanted to kind of stock up on them. They are my go-to, I wear them all the time. Luminous Silk from Giorgio Armani, love it. Every time there is a sale, I try to get myself a bottle so that I have a backup. I have shade 7.5 and it's perfect. This foundation, I mean, what can I say that I haven't said already? It's just, I mean, the bottle is stunning, very stunning. This is a classic foundation that can be worn anytime. It's so reliable. It looks gorgeous on the skin. It just looks like your skin, but in the most flawless way. Um, easy to blend, really beautiful like undertones that they did with the Luminous Silk. I love Luminous Silk. Like It will always, always be part of my collection. And the other foundation that I picked up is the um, Givenchy Prism Libre Skin Caring Glow. I already have a bottle of this, but I've been using it so much. I think I'm gonna run out, out, out of it very, very soon. So I ended up getting a backup. So when I finish that one, I have this one. Love this foundation. I feel like these two are very um similar in the way that they perform and look on the skin i want to say maybe the givenchy is a little bit heavier just a tad bit that's me really like analyzing it to the max but i feel like they perform beautifully they look very similar very skin like very light um a little goes a long way with the givenchy i do about one pump and i am good to go gorgeous gorgeous um formula very um skin like it gives you like a natural glowy finish and it wears beautifully throughout the day i'm supposed to be doing foundation reviews let me know if you guys still want to see that i know i took a poll on my instagram of like content you guys want to see for the month of may and a lot of you guys said more makeup reviews so I definitely need to organize that and give you guys some foundation reviews. This one is a must have for me. It's absolutely gorgeous. So the other skincare product that I got is from Glow Recipe. This is their Watermelon Glow Niacinamide Dew Drops. This is a highlighting serum. Anything that's gonna give me a glow, I will take it. And my skin loves niacinamide. That's another ingredient that's beautiful if you have dry skin, textured skin. You want that smooth, finish that very soft skin like finish this is a great ingredient um i know that um what is it called the ordinary already has a niacinamide serum but they were all out when i tried to get it so i didn't pick it up because of that but if you can get your hands on the niacinamide from The Ordinary, definitely do. It's super affordable. This one, I just love the way that it's looked um, on social media. When I see other people putting it on, it literally lights up your skin. So I am excited to try it out. And the packaging is adorable. Like, hello. How cute is that? That is so adorable. It also smells pretty incredible. Let me smell it. 
Oh, all their products. It just smells so good. It's fruity watermelon. Um, so I'm excited to try this one out. Uh, another product that I got from Way that I absolutely love is the Curl Cream. I've already gone through two bottles of these. Initially, they did gift me one of the bottles. I loved it, picked up another one, and then I went ahead and picked up this one during the sale. I love this. Like, it really defines my curls nicely, keeps them super bouncy and luscious and it doesn't give too much crunch to my hair. So I love it, it works so nice. I find that a little goes a long way, even though my hair takes a lot of product, I don't need to overdo it with this one because it's a, it's a, like a bit of a thicker cream, like the texture, and I just, I love this one. They do have a non-scented version of this one, but I just picked up this one, and again, look at the packaging, that nude tone is everything so way is definitely an incredible brand like i love their um styling products i also love their curly hair products their shampoos they have really nice hair masks overall everything that i've tried from them has been absolutely incredible so the curl cream if you have hair texture like mine or even softer i definitely feel like you will love love this one to give your curls a little bit more definition so guys, that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and saw something new and cool today. As always, I will list everything down below in the description box for those of you who are interested. And don't forget to enter the giveaway. Read the rules in the description box. I already pointed out in the beginning. Um, very, very simple. You just have to be subscribed to my channel. Follow me on Instagram. And also, I will be contacting you through the comments section and then you can send me a dm via instagram once i do select the winner so i'll probably leave this giveaway open for five days and then select the winner ship off your product and pray to god that canada post doesn't mess it up because uh, my experiences with giveaways haven't been the best but uh we're thinking positive here so thank you so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this video and saw something new and cool today can't wait to chat with you guys in the comment section and i will see y'all in the next video ciao